Today I'll be doing a meter base installation on the side of my house and wiring it up. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house and tone money. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video. Hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. Things I'll be using for my installation is this meter base. I got this expansion coupling, which I'll show you how to install that and what it's for. And this goes up into the meter base. And then I just got a three inch coupling and I got SEU cable and that's uh, four rot and this is duct seal which is used to seal from the base to the inside of the house. We got no locks. This is for uh, non oxidizing properties which I'll explain that more in a bit. This is a two inch clamp for holding the SEU cable. I'll show you how all this goes together here. You're going to watch me do it and um, we just got some lag screws. We got some grounding clamps that's for these ground rods and then we got schedule 80 conduit that's three inch couple up uh, brackets to anchor everything to the house and uh, our tools that we're going to need here and clearly you need your tool bag before you watch this whole video i wanted to disclose that i am not an electrician i'm not a professional electrician by no means i am just a person building my own house and in my jurisdiction as long as it's inspected it's okay to do that and I will say though, I have uh, done this on four or five different houses myself and I grew up helping my father do this. So I do have some experience, but just watch this for entertainment purposes only. Let's get back to it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this meter base and let's see, we got this cardboard, we got to take off. So if we take a look at what we need to do, we need to pop out this uh, area here and what that's going to let us do is install this clamp from the back side in so let's go ahead and get your two inch clamp ready just so we know how big the knockout we got to take out so if we turn it around here all right as you can see it's right there so i just lay it up and it looks like this knockout right here needs to come out so i gotta knock this knockout from the inside so I'm gonna take a two by four and slide under the meter base, then take a straight screwdriver, and we're gonna go ahead and knock on that with a hammer. Then after you knock two of them loose, then I'll take a pair of pliers and just kinda pry it and rock it back and forth. All right, so we got our knockout out and we need to get our two inch clamp. We're going to go ahead and slide that into place, turn this around, and then take our nut and go ahead and get that on there to hold it. And then take this plastic bushing and go ahead and install it over that. And the reason why you use this bushing, it keeps these sharp edges from hurting your wire when it angles up into your meter socket. I'm going to be installing this base with lags and I got to knock out each corner that has that indention for the lags next. So now I'm just going to set my meter up about where it goes and then I'm going to put a torpedo level on top of it and we're going to set it nice and level. That looks pretty good there. I double checked to make sure I'm centering my J block. I installed this one. I installed my vinyl siding. So it's been a little while. All right, that looks pretty good. Then I take a pencil, and then just mark the holes where the bolts are gonna go. And then I mark the hole for where the SEU cable is gonna be going through. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw up for this wire. I'm using a three inch bit for this just because of that clamp on the back of it is going to need that room. Right, now we're through the house and we gotta install our cable through here. So I'm just gonna fish this SEU cable through. And the reason why we don't need to disconnect is because our panel box is going to be on the other side of this wall. So I know my power is gonna be coming up in here from underground. So I'm gonna knock out this knockout. I already got started on this here, but I figured I'd show you that. And this has to accommodate this fitting. So that's gonna go down in there. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out. 
I made a video about me installing this conduit to the transformer, so if you wanna check that out, be sure to tap on the link above and it'll take you to that video. But right now I need to focus on installing this coupling. So this is an expansion coupling. What this is for is this attaches in the middle of the conduit, so if this pipe settles below, it doesn't pull your meter off the house. So by code, we gotta have this, so this thing will expand before it pulls the meter off the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it about where I want it. So I actually have it turned upside down. I like to install them like this. So it looks like we need about, about a foot of pipe. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a piece of pipe about a foot long, and then I'm gonna glue all this together. So now I'm gonna pull my SEU cable through and take my meter base and I'm going to fish that over that cable. All right, now I'm gonna fish through plenty so I have enough to reach the terminals on the inside of here. So we can always trim off the excess if it's too much. So we're gonna do something like that. And now just tighten up the screws on that clamp. And now we're gonna fish that back into the house and slide our base over the conduit. All right. I got four quarter inch lag bolts that are galvanized with duct seal on the end of them. And they are gonna be installed in each corner of this box. So all you gotta do, take your lag bolt, put it on that mark that you made earlier, and then drive that into place. And that duct seal is gonna make a nice watertight seal around each one of those legs. After you got all four of those legs installed, take this three inch metal ring and then tighten it around this threaded fitting we installed last on the conduit. As you can see here, our meter base is nice and level and we got our expansion coupling with our Schedule 80 conduit going up that's attached to the meter base with this metal ring. And then if you look in here, if you have any of that duct seal left over on those lag bolts we installed, I like to try to get that off there. It just makes a nice clean looking job if you do. And those are nice and sealed. And now what we're gonna do is get these wires hooked into these terminals. This is 4 aught SEU cable. Before I go any further, I wanted to mention the height requirement here. It's about four and a half foot. So this one's sitting exactly four and a half foot to where the meter socket's gonna be. Check with your power company to see where you gotta set yours. Anywhere between four foot and six foot seems to be the national average from what I understand. And this is gonna be for a 200 amp service, but I just wanna let you know those things before we go any further. So now let's go ahead and wire this SEU cable to where the socket's gonna be. So the first thing you need to do is take your utility knife and just get the casing around the SEU cable cut. All right, so now we need to separate the red and the black over here. This one we can put there. And then we can go ahead and slide this one over here, roughly where it's gonna go. Okay, and now we just gotta take these aluminum wires here and just twist them together because we gotta turn it into a piece of wire. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we just push that up into where we need it to be placed. So now what I'm gonna do is mark this cable just about where I need to cut it. So about right in there. And then this one, the same thing. Looks like it needs to be cut about right in there. This is where I take a Sawzall. Sawzall I found to be the best thing to cut this stuff with a metal blade. All right, now I'm gonna loosen up all these lugs and drop them out. So what I'm gonna do is take this product that's a 
antioxidant for this aluminum cable. It's called OxGuard and put it over this cable. All right, I'm gonna push that into place where it goes. And then take this lug and install it back into place. And then take an Allen wrench. It takes a pretty big Allen wrench. I'm sure what size this one is, but it's a fairly good size. I'd imagine it's standard across most of these, but not positive. Then I'm just gonna snug these up Pull these up and then mark to where I gotta strip the insulation off. All right, gonna go ahead and put our ox guard on these now. Back these lugs out all the way before I try to put those wires in. All right, and it is like fighting a bull trying to get these into place. Per code where I live, I now got to anchor this conduit right here and right here. I got to have at least two brackets holding it to the house to help secure everything that's here. So what I'm using is three and a half inch, quarter inch lag bolts that are galvanized. And I already put a block behind the wall in this case. And then I'm just going to fish it through. And what I like to do, I drill out some of the siding that's a little bigger than the bolt. So that way the vinyl can expand and contract and go ahead and I'm gonna start the one on this side and go ahead and just snug them up tight so now our power is going to come up come through these terminals transfer over go through the socket and then into the house and as far as these brackets go i'm going to put some clear quad caulk over these holes so it keeps them watertight so this is going to get inspected before there is power put into this so I'm gonna go ahead and just put everything back the way it was before I installed it. And I'll call the inspector, let them know I'm ready to have this inspected. So right down here is the hole we drilled through from the outside of that J block. And we have the meter base sitting right here. And this is that SCU cable coming in. And what we're gonna do with it is it's gonna go up to the panel box that I have setting here. And it's gonna be about right there. So we got plenty of cable here for that. And I'm gonna show you up close what I'm gonna do with this big hole in the side of the wall. So as you can see, that clamp is back there holding this cable. And what it is, I gotta lift this up like that. And it's gonna to bend to go up to the panel box. So after I get the panel box set, I'm gonna come back through with this duct seal, or some people call this ceiling compound. That's what this technically is. But anyways, I'm just gonna take that and jam it back into this hole and have this air tight and water tight on the edges by the time it's said and done. These are the ground rods I showed you at the beginning of the video. And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna drive one right here beside the meter about a foot away or so, and drive it all the way straight down, and then go six foot over and drive this other one in. And then I'm gonna run my copper cable going through the side of the house and up to the panel box and connect them to here. And this is what's gonna ground the house. But I just wanna explain that to you. So I figured if you watch this much of the video, you're very interested in electrical and building your own house possibly. Be sure to check out my Amazon store. A lot of the products I use while making this video can be found there. And I do get a small commission from the sales, but it's at no extra cost to you and it helps support the channel and I appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe because I'll be installing that panel box and I know you don't wanna miss that. All right guys, I gotta drive these ground rods in so I got a lot of work ahead of me. So I'll see you in the next video, peace.